number one talk business radio show in North Carolina. If it's Monday afternoon, say it, Patrick, say it, say it. Your business matters. Yeah. And we cannot have a co-host, especially somebody as uh, prevalent as Patrick Reynolds, without digging in a little bit to some business and making it work a little bit. So I pulled out an article. There, there is a newsletter that I get. It's a formal newsletter. Um, it comes every month. I, we've had the guy on the show, uh, Sean, many times. He owns Newsletter Pro. Go to newsletterpro.com if you're a small business owner and you're thinking about uh, putting together a newsletter. They've got a great group of people. They're actually out of Canada. Um, and they do just a great job. And so he sends a lot of a lot of stuff my way. And I like I like um, sort of um, working off of it. And so I've got something I want to talk to you about. Are you ready? I am ready for okay. you. What Sean is saying is the future is about content more than it ever has been. Because so many people are sending stuff out now that um, more and more people, are, their uh, attention span is getting very short. And so it's important that you are doing these five things with your content if you want people to, if you want to actually get results. If you want to waste time and send out an email or, or create a newsletter, go ahead and do it. But without these five things, and this is an expert that's been doing this for over 13 years, um, and he has created a really multi faceted, multi million dollar business with newsletters, these five things. Um, pieces of advice for content will ensure you get results. And I wanted to bring them by you and see what you thought. Okay. I'd love to hear them. Okay. So number one, you cannot be boring. Now I got to tell you something that sounds simple, but that's much harder than it actually is. I mean, it, th there is something to say about me. And in my case, the first thing I do is look at the subject line and it's going to sort of anticipate what that email is going to be. Mm -hmm. Or I'll look at the headline in a newsletter. Um, and I, it, to me, it starts with, is it going to entertain me? Or is it going to inspire me? Is it going to interest me at all? Got an opinion on that? Sure do. I, most like most people, there is so much coming through my email, even texting, social media, so much content. It has to have some kind of spark to it. Spark, you say? Spark, I say. Okay. As, as in... If you lose your spark, get your spark back okay. type of thing. Don't be boring. It has to be entertaining. I have re I've spoken on the radio a lot, spoken on the stages a lot, but I've also done a lot of writing over the, over the years as well. They, they kind of went parallel to each other. Writing articles uh, mostly on the web, a little bit on print, and I would write things that I would throw out because I would look and I was bored writing them. Never mind, oh my goodness, someone's going to read this and be bored. They're never going to finish the piece. Right. So I had to, myself, I had to look at my, my whatever work I was writing about. It had to have some spark and some energy to it where I wasn't bored. I've come across that. I was bored by my own writing, deleted the whole thing, had to restart again. Got to have some action. And it's in there. interesting that you say that because I, I read stuff that I can tell the person writing it, they really appreciated what they wrote, mm -hmm. but they had no concern whether the pain that I had to <laughs> go, 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 go read it. So, so, Facts, so that's a good figures. point. figures, yeah. And, and there's good information, but a present adult, like a good professor or a teacher in school. Sometimes, okay. yeah, the delivery. Number one, don't be boring. Don't be boring. Okay. Number two. Two. Be authentic. Be authentic. Now, this one's tricky for mm -hmm. a guy like Joe, too, because, you know, I'm kind of playful. You, you understand, right? So when I write which I'm a really bad writer. Mm -hmm. Best thing ever happened to me was a Terminator. You know, <laughs> I mean, baby, I wear that thing yeah. out, you know. Um, but um, I like to joke. I like to say lighthearted things, you know, and pepper that into the, the email that I'm sending. And that authenticity sometimes does not come out appropriately, correctly, right? I don't mean anything I say is mm -hmm. like offensive. It's just they, they don't get the joke. They don't get the funny. They don't get the humor. Mm -hmm. The sarcasm doesn't, doesn't come about. So being authentic is one thing, but you do have to make sure that you're paying attention. Does it read the way you want it to read? This is how a lot of information arguments start over text messages mm -hmm. because when you write... There is no inflection, there's no tone, there's no facial expression, there's no body language, which is often interpretive. When I read something, 
All I see is the words. You send me a text or an email. When you say something in front of me, I can tell if there's sarcasm involved. You cannot tell sarcasm from the written word. Okay, but, but, Mr. Kardashian of Lake Norman, is if it's coming from me, you know I'm really not. I would never say anything purposely offensive. Do I? So it would be, Do I it would be sarcastic. Do I really know that? You should. Or should you be writing differently? Mm, okay. Authentic. Be authentic, if, and but if, understandable. And if you use the Terminator, are you still authentic? Oh, no, you got me there. And for our audience that doesn't know what the Terminator is, that's AI, chat, GPT, that's which right. many people are using. I have, I used Joe right. Lingo, which is the Terminator. I love, which Thank I get, so again. <laughs> So, so you understand, I would never send something out important without my wife or Julie reading it, right? I no longer have to do that. I just go straight to the Terminator. My wife and Julie are obsolete. They are no longer needed because I got the Terminator. I disagree. I <laughs> run everything. Run everything past it. So they can read and say, hey, this isn't, isn't this funny? Patrick will love this. And they'll go, mm, I don't know, Joe. You should You're going to upset it. Patrick again. You're going to upset Patrick. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. That's number two. Be number two. Back. Number three. Number three. Communicate regularly and consistently. Now, this is really important if you're trying to slowly inform someone. See, in my business, it takes about three years for somebody to decide to sell their business. Uh-huh. So I'm communicating with people for a very long lead time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll send stuff out to people, and it may be three and a half, four years before they'll call me back and say I'm ready to sell the business. Understood. So this, to me, is really important, which is a regular, consistent communication constantly and something they can kind of plan on matter of fact we're reading something that does that which is this newsletter from from Mm -hmm. sean newsletter pro um i look forward to his his newsletter coming out that's no different you ring making a newsletter or this show local biz now or podcasting very big popular uh with so many companies and personalities right now People consume their information on demand. Everybody now. could be a Kardashian. Anybody can be a Kardashian. Well, no, no, they can't. <laughs> no, they, can't. <laughs> they can try. Patrick just makes this look easy. <laughs> Patrick Reynolds often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> but your audience needs to know consistently when that information is coming out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, catch local biz now. You can watch this on demand, like you talk about on the tubes. That's right. You know, on our social media, you can watch us, but, but people need to know Monday, 4 p.m., boom, the latest one is live now. Right. Now I can watch it each week, month, biweekly, whatever you're going to do, newsletter and email, doesn't matter, but you're communicating with people. Do it on a consistent basis so they can count on you. That's important that you are dependable. If you're dependable, they'll do business with you. Number one, don't be boring. Number two, be authentic. Number three, communicate regularly and consistently. Number four. Cuatro. Multi-channel. I don't know what that means. What's Do, it talking about? I'm going to say, without reading the article, because it's in your possession, not mine. I, I kind of wanted to be a head up on you. I wanted to be a you leg up see, on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> challenge accepted. Multi-channel. <laughs> I would say literally the channels, much like this show in the video feed. We got yeah. it on, on YouTube, X, yeah. Facebook, LinkedIn. It's on one, two, three radio stations. It is on the WSIC website. Right. So that, not everybody has that. However, don't just be one source. Have a podcast if you can. Have a, an email uh, newsletter if you can. Maybe you just send out some social media regularly if you can. But have multiple ways for people uh, to, to get information from you. Much like uh, multiple streams of income is a hot term. It has been for years. It comes and goes. Same thing. Have multi-channels. You passed that test. I knew what that was, you know, but I, I was testing you on that. How'd I do? How'd I do? You did excellent. Excellent. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> I think I'm moving on to the lightning uh, round. Omni media is what the marketing people call that. So, okay. Uh, okay. So, multi channel. That was number four. All right. Number five. Number five. Focus on helping people. Mm hmm. Now, that one was kind of hard for me for a while until I figured it out, right? You know, it used to be. You got to write me a check before you're going to know what Joe knows, right? You understand that, right? And then I started to realize, even if I tell you, you still can't implement it. 
the same way, right? So it's okay to give this information. I was afraid for years, if I gave you the information, you no longer needed me. But that's not true. And so that piece of it, a piece of it was pretty, it was difficult for me to, to grasp for a, for, for a long time. Tell, don't sell. All those newsletters, all those social media channels that we just talked about, you are informing your your clients or your potential clients. You're educating them. They, you want to talk about boring? Hit, a, hit get hit with a sales pitch once a week from the same company. <laughs> are you kidding me? But if you're doing something to inform, like what you do in business right. or what I do in business, if you're constantly with the opinion or the point of view of I'm trying to help you, uh, you know, advertising for the WSIC, they're trying to help you. They're not trying to sell you something. Yes, a sale will come from that eventually. But if they just in your face, sell, 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 it's a real big turnoff. And that's where you get that don't be boring. You are boring. Stop trying to sell to <laughs> Okay. Uh, five things to do, make sure that you are uh, paying attention to to get good results for content. Number one, don't be boring. Number two, be authentic. Number three, communicate regularly. Number four, multi-channel uh, omni-media, and number five, focus on helping people. Patrick, we have less than a minute. How can people reach you if they want if they want you at their next event uh, to, to speak to them? Best way is to email me. That's info at prmc.com. That's spelled P-R-E-M-C-E-E. -E. The word M-C is the letter M, letter C, and a lot of useless E's, but that's how it's that's how it's spelled. And the bottom line is just contact WSIC and they'll get you to oh, Patrick yeah. and um because he is now the news director of WSIC and my mentee. WSIC, Waves Entertainment, PRMC, you'll get a hold of me somehow. If it's Monday afternoon, you're listening to Local Biz Now and your business matters. Yeah, we'll be right back.